How are you? So good, uh, I never expected we'll have a thousand students here in the live class. So once uh, things became online, uh, it's a convenience. After all, finally what matters the most is the story of convenience that sells. Uh, but as a teacher, uh, I just need one student at least in the class. And uh, Anam coming is equivalent to 1,000 Shavanas and another 5,000 Bilkis Fatimas who are the toppers uh, in my past 23 years. So good, very good. So the kids gave you permission? No. no? <laughs> Mom takes care of them. And also, sir is also in home, no? Yes. Your sir.
Shall we wait or start? Where is our ringleader, uh, Vinisha? She just started. Just started, eh? But when I started at home, I gave a message that I started. You didn't get that? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Diksha ka hai? Diksha ka Ramayan ki shirubat se hum pade to better hai. Kyunki beech mein a gaya to jara Ram ko Sita kya hoga, Sita ko Lakshman kya hoga, ho sab... समझ में नहीं आता। भरत है। भरत इज वो इज भरत। आह अवर भरत। ओके दैट्स गुड। हे सुशांत हाउ आर यू? So, Diksha is driving, she's on the way. Diksha is driving, she's on the way. Okay. Good morning to everyone and welcome to today's wonderful evening with Dr. Murli Bharadwaj. It is so refreshing and very nice to see 26 online students. The world has changed. About a decade ago, there used to be about uh, seven, eight hundred students in the class, physical class. That was a different adrenaline rush for the teacher. But today, thanks goes to 5G, YouTube and everything. Very nice to see Ibrahim Syed, Yugender Bobby, Jaydeep Goshal. Thank you, Jaydeep. Uh, for paying 2,000 rupees without installments, sir. I always joke, don't take it. Sir. So, Jaydeep Goshal for being so kind uh, to pay 2,000 rupees fee and get a one-year uh, subscription to the Score Need PG app, where we give 40,000 MCQs, 600 hours video, 1200 pages notes, 50,000 high yield facts, 100 full scale grantors, daily live online class, everything which otherwise costs around uh, 30,000 for only 2,000. Because Anam said, Jab hum hamara books pad rahe to, aapko fees pay karne mein, what is the logic? That really touched me that, uh, that is true, you know. You are giving me pleasure by giving me company and keeping me on in this journey of Neat PG. Good. With that preamble, let us make the great beginning. Nice to see Ramesh, Dr. Sami, Rebati. Very good. 33 online. Excellent. Hope we will touch 100. Now, doctor. Before we start the class, let me tell you. Learning ECG is not uh, for weak-hearted and dumb students. So that is the reason, if you are dumb, kindly leave the class. Because it will be very, for dumb people to learn ECG is, uh, it, it's not meant for them. It unnecessarily creates a discomfort. Uh, in the posterior pericardial surface. So, how do I know whether you are dumb or not before I let you to be in the class? Okay? So, I will ask two questions. Uh, in fact, I'll ask three questions. If you correctly answer, stay in the class. I'm telling you honestly. If you can't answer those questions, you can't study ECG. Even I try my best, you can't study. Better leave the class. Okay? Call me bad teacher. It doesn't matter. First question. Sharp answer dena hai. First question. Are you ready? Show me your right hand. Lift it and show me your right hand. You know that 
you your right hand is that okay show me your left hand show me your left you also know that it is where is your left hand oh tap your foot and tell me left foot only left foot not right left foot ha ah, you are brilliant guys i know that if you know your right hand is on right left hand is on the left and you know where is your left leg you are eligible to become a cardiologist be very sure about it so doctor with that let's make the great beginning what is the greatest embarrassment in our life we will be studying in medical college we go to home our grandmother will say jara mera ecg dekh ke batao bete ha you will put reverse you will put straight ah bahut acha hai grandma aap to dada ji ko graveyard bhejaya pura mausi ko paidaish kiya pura chacha sab logon ko shaadi karke unka unka ghar bhejaya you are able to manage the most complicated uh, daughters in law who are my aunts you will survive 100 your ecg is okay you will say so it will be embarrassing situation when we can't read ecg when we can't read a radiograph which is which are the two things among many things that they don't teach in medical college but take every annual 68 lakh fees right so that is the misery let us resolve that misery first what is ecg can online students can kindly punch monish chandra yugender bobby and everybody jaydeep uh, is my voice loud and clear for all of you ecg is a strip of paper it is a moving paper what is the speed at which it moves it moves at a speed of 25 mm in 1 second agar koi vastu koi cheez 25 mm ek second mein move hua to 1 mm move hone ke liye kitna time lagega basic uh, physics i mean mathematics problem ek goda 10 km ek ghante mein chale to एक मिनट में कितना किलोमीटर चलेगा नहीं तो एक किलोमीटर चलने के लिए कितना मिनट लगेगा वी स्टडीड इन आवर स्कूल डेज सो इफ समथिंग मूव्स 25 फाइव एम इन वन सेकेंड वन एम एम मूव होने के लिए वन बाई ट्वेंटी फाइव सेकेंड लगेगा बराबर सो वन बाई ट्वेंटी फाइव होता है जीरो पॉइंट जीरो फोर सेकेंड्स that's the reason this is called small square you are able to see right doctor this is called small square and on the ecg paper you have bade dibba bade dibbe ke andar panch chote dibbe so five small boxes in every large box that's the reason every small box is equal to 0.04 seconds understand sometimes people cardiologists talk about not seconds but milliseconds 0.04 seconds is equal to how many milliseconds ek second mein kitna milliseconds rehta 100 centiseconds rehta 1000 milliseconds rehta so 0.04 into 1000 is equal to 40 milliseconds understand so 1 mm is equal to 0.04 seconds or 40 milliseconds and large dibbe mein five small boxes so 5 into 0.04 is equal to 0.2 seconds otherwise 200 milliseconds yahan tak clear what is the height of each small box what is the height of each small box huh? 1 mm right 
एंड वॉट इज द हाइट ऑफ वन लार्ज बॉक्स लार्ज बॉक्स का हाइट से कुछ लेन देन नहीं है लार्ज बॉक्स के वृत्त से लेन देन है स्मॉल बॉक्स के वृत्त से लेन देन है स्मॉल बॉक्स के हाइट से इंपॉर्टेंट टू रिमेंबर नाउ लेट इज समराइज बिफोर वी मूव टू द नेक्स्ट स्लाइड वॉट इज द स्पीड ऑफ द ई सी जी पेपर ट्वेंटी फाइव एम एम वन स्मॉल बॉक्स इज इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट जीरो फोर सेकेंड विच इज इक्वल टू फोर्टी मिली सेकेंड एंड वॉट इज द लार्ज बॉक्स इज इक्वल टू फाइव एम एम दट इज जीरो पॉइंट टू सेकेंड अदरवाइज टू हंड्रेड मिली सेकेंड वॉट इज द हाइट ऑफ स्मॉल बॉक्स वन एम एम राइट वेरी गुड डॉक्टर नाउ For the regular rhythm, if you want to calculate the heart rate, the formula is 300 divided by number of large boxes between two consecutive R waves. One R wave, next R wave. Between that, how many large boxes are there? That is the heart rate. Why did this uh, number 300 came? कुछ लॉजिक है क्या वही न्यूमरेटर शुड बी थ्री हंड्रेड राइट अभी इसके बारे में बात करेंगे हार्ट रेट इज कैलकुलेटेड फॉर मिनट्स और सेकेंड्स मिनट्स पर मिनट पर मिनट हैज हाउ मेनी सेकेंड्स सिक्सटी सेकेंड्स एग्री वन स्मॉल बॉक्स इज इक्वल टू How many uh, how many seconds? Zero point zero four seconds. One large box is equal to zero point right is equal to zero point two seconds is equal to one large box. One second is equal to zero point two seconds is equal to one large box. One second is zero point two seconds is equal to one large box. One second is equal to how many large boxes? Five. One second is equal to five large boxes. One minute is equal to five into sixty large boxes. Five into six is equal to three hundred. That is the reason numerator became. 300 because you are calculating heart rate per minute clear you go to your pg and ask bhaiya 300 kaise aa gaya numerator mein please please come lot of people don't uh, know the logic simple logic i'll summarize once more each small box is equal to love 0.04 seconds one large box is equal to 0.2 seconds One second is how many large boxes? Five large boxes. One minute is equal to how many large boxes? Five into sixty, three hundred large boxes. That is the reason while calculating the heart rate using large boxes, numerator became three hundred, and between two consecutive R waves, how many large boxes will give you the heart rate? clear how about the online students wow hum bahut khush hain 43 online classmates very good so happy to see 43 online classmates not bad eh? today we should hit uh, 100 tell all your friends uh, unemployed md general medicine murli bharadwaj is available on sunday saying goodbye to all marriages uh, so uh and uh, spending time with wonderful guys like you some of you are going to become top cardiologists but i will take the credit are isko 300 numerator mein kaise aayega maine bataya right so now doctor you did not lose anything jaiswal hum uh, ecg paper ka strip ka speed uh, 25 mm hai ek small box 0.04 seconds hai 
वन लार्ज बॉक्स जीरो पॉइंट टू सेकेंड्स है एंड बिटवीन टू आर वेव्स नंबर ऑफ लार्ज बॉक्सेस यू विल काउंट थ्री हंड्रेड डिवाइडेड बाई दैट विल गिव यू हार्ट रेट यहाँ तक खत्म किया बिकॉज अवर फेडरेशन ऑफ गायनकोलॉजी वाइस प्रेसिडेंट बोलेंगे इनको क्योंकि गिरिजा रेड्डी इज प्रेजिडेंट ऑफ नाउ डॉक्टर suppose instead of taking large box you have you are counting small boxes how many small boxes are there in one large box five agar two consecutive r waves ke beech mein if you are calculating small boxes what will be the numerator instead of 300 it will be 300 into 5 so 1500 divided by Number of small boxes between two consecutive R waves will also give you heart rate. Clear? Now, so when do you need to take small boxes instead of large boxes? Suppose if the heart rate is very fast, very fast, then between one QRS and other QRS, the number of dibbe jo hai baut kam hai. Tab aap small बॉक्सेस को लेना पड़ता है सो वेन डू यू कॉल नॉर्मल हार्ट रेट सिक्सटी टू हंड्रेड मोर देन हंड्रेड इज टेकेडिया लेस देन सिक्सटी इज कॉल ब्राडिकार्डिया तो वेन एवर यू लुक एट द ई सी जी रिदम डॉक्टर देर आर फोर फाइव थिंग्स यू नीड टू क्विकली लुक एट फर्स्ट इज रेट वेर डू यू सी द रेट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल ई सी जी हैज वेरी सिंपल ट्वेल्व लीड्स सिक्स आर कॉल प्रिकॉर्डियल सीने के सामने लगा के आप दिल का जांच करते हो सो प्रिकॉर्डियल लिम्स को टाई करके लीड्स को लिम्ब लीड्स लीड वन लीड टू लीड थ्री दे आर ऑल कॉल लिम्ब लीड्स V1, V2, V3, V4, V5, V6. V1 right, V6 left. It's from right to left. V1, V2, V3, V4, V5, V6. By the time you go to V6, it is left, and you are starting at right, right above to left below, right above to left below, because the entire electrical activity chick 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 chick. कहाँ जा रहे? ऊपर से नीचे, right से left को जा रहे हैं. So V1, V2, V3, V4, V5, V6. Then you have lead one, two, three, which are called limb leads. So six plus three nine हो गया. और क्या है? A V R, A V L, A V F. I'll come to them. What is the meaning? A means augmented. Augmented क्या होता है? Increase or decrease? Increase. जब voltage को जब augment करे तो augmented हो जाता है. Augmented. राइट साइड लेफ्ट साइड फुट साइड ए वी एल ए वी आर ए वी एफ क्लियर नाउ फर्स्ट यू नीड टू लुक फॉर रेट कहा देखते हैं रेट को लीड टू में देखते हो लीड टू में यू विल सी रेट नाउ द क्वेश्चन कम्स सर हम लीड टू में रेट को क्यों देखना वाई नॉट इन लीड वन वाई नॉट इन वी वन वाई नॉट इन समथिंग एल्स बिकॉज लीड टू Lead two is connecting the right arm and left leg. Your electrical activity is also passing from right arm to left leg. Dil bhi upper se niche ja re, right se left ko. Lead two bhi usi direction me ja re. Dono ek hi direction me hai. Isliye kaha dekhte hain aap rate ko, rhythm ko lead two me dekhte ho. Now the rate can be what? It can be tachycardia. It can be bradycardia. If it is less than sixty, you call bradycardia. More than hundred, you call tachycardia. Second, you look for the rhythm. मतलब सरिगमापादनीसा. Is it equally spaced? Or is it going like sa sa re re sa 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 re 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 re? Is it going like that? 
so how will you know that one hour another hour first star second star next star next star ke beech mein space hai na equal hai nahi to hamara need bhi preparation ke jaise hai dekhna kuch dino padhte rahe khali aish karte aur kuch din bahut tension mein nail biting hue padhte hain so either it is short somewhere long somewhere pause somewhere long like that that is irregular first of all ek tension nikal do aapke man se sir ye q kya hai r kya hai s kya hai any positive wave they called the r wave any negative wave that comes before r is called q anything that comes after negative wave after r is called yes so simple terminology right neeta ke samne aane wala hota hai unka bahan geeta neeta ke piche aane wala hota hai unka choti bahan sunita right so q yes r to negative r is the positive r is the hero now look at the third thing you need to look at is look at the qrs morphology a qrs era a slim curvaceous cute looking qrs hai second type ye mota qrs hai diksha mai diksha ke अनुरोध पे फरमाइश शुरू किया और आप बहुत लेट आ गए क्यू आर एस मोटा हो सकता नहीं तो वट इज दुबला ना नहीं तो दुबला हो सकता अंडरस्टैंड सो वॉट इज द इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ मोटा दुबला क्यू आर एस वेरी सिंपल first of all qrs is formed because of what depolarization of ventricle so this ventricle gets depolarized how s a node to a v node a v node to purkinje purkinje will depolarize the ventricle so a ventricle bahut तेज दौड़ रहा है इट इज रनिंग फास्ट दट इज टेक कार्डिया फ्रॉम वेयर डिट दिस टेक कार्डिया अराइज सपोज इफ देर इज ए टेक कार्डिया स्टार्टेड इन दियम एंड इट केम इन टू द वेंट्रिकल देन द टेक कार्डिया विल थ्रो ए क्यू आर एस विच इज नैरो but if the ventricle itself created a focus and uh, tachycardia then the qrs will be wide that's the reason what is the dictum whenever tachycardia is throwing a wide qrs unless proven otherwise unless proven otherwise it is ventricular origin tachycardia is what you need to remember there are exceptions exceptions ke bare mein baad mein aayenge pehla main rules of life we will learn right understand sushan so what is the main rule until your girlfriend is on your side you should look into her eyes only exception is if she is not there you can watch anywhere right so unless proven otherwise what is the wide qrs wide qrs equal to ventricular tachycardia and narrow qrs is supra ventricular tachycardia next kya karoge aapke aankhe always the rule is your eyes will see only that your mind knows understand whether it is ecg whether it is clinical medicine or neat pg neat pg me mera wala barter मेरा वाला लिडिल मेरा वाला रीनल चुपला रेस्टोसिस कहा है बोल के आपके आंखें देखना सडनली ये क्या है 
बार्टन और बोर्टन और बिर्टन इफ यू आर ओ कौन सा सब्जेक्ट में आता आई थिंक दिस कम्स इन गायनोकोलॉजी इफ यू आर थिंकिंग नो यू आर गॉन इन नीड पिच सो योर आईज मस्ट फर्स्ट रन थ्रू रेट देन कम्स रिदम आर द वाइडली स्पेस इज देयर एनी टैकिकार्डिया इफ इट इज देयर देन वाइड और नैरो क्यूरस देन यू नीड टू लुक फॉर पी वेव ऑटोमेटिकली चलना पी वेव के बारे में बात करेंगे कभी पी वेव नहीं रहता है ओनली क्यू आर एस दिखता है खाली क्यू आर एस दिख रहा है पी वेव नहीं दिख रहा कई को क्योंकि ये एट्रिया जो है ना डॉक्टर जब ये एट्रिया शिवरिंग हो रहा है वेन द एट्रिया इज शिवरिंग then it can't show up before ventricle ventricle kaun hai raja hai unke samne a shivering atria cannot show it itself so atrial fibrillation hai to fibrillating atrium cannot produce a depictable p wave before the qrs so then what are the possibility when the p wave is absent p wave is absent it means sinus arrest or atrial fibrillation so what do you mean by sinus arrest that means sa node produced an electrical excitation but that did not that was not able to create enough amount of depolarization of the atria so that is underlying cause then you look at the if at all p wave is present look at the morphology of p wave how many morphologies of p wave can be there p wave can be p wave can be regular p wave mac donald shaped wide p wave with a notch p wave can be all prominent p wave called p pulmonal this is called p mitral third type of p wave p wave can be inverted acha bhaiya p wave kab invert hoga generally t wave inversions all of us know where is p wave inverted very simple p wave is because of what depolarization of atrium so atrium can depolarize how can it depolarize if sa node depolarizes it can then order kahan se aa rahe upar se niche aa rahe but suddenly av node become active it's called av nodal reentrant tachycardias av node se excitation paida ho ke reverse direction mein ja ke atria ko depolarize kare to डायरेक्शन रिवर्स हो गया पी वेव भी रिवर्स हो गया अंडरस्टैंड सो वेन एवर टेकिकार्डियाज और नोडल टेकिकार्डियाज वेन दे आर ऑरिजिनेटिंग फ्रॉम द ए वी नोड देन द पी वेव विल बी इनवर्टेड सो कितने चीज देखते हो आप पी वेव में पहला पी वेव है क्या अगर है तो मैकडोनाल्ड शेप में वाइड विथ ए नॉच है नहीं तो वेरी प्रोमिनेंट लाइक पी पलमनेल और इज इट इनवर्टेड पी वेव ये चीजें देखना पड़ता बराबर आई कम बैक टू पी माइट्रेल पी पलमोन बाद में अभी अभी के लिए इन्वर्टेड है या सीधा खड़े हैं ये बात आप समझ लेना ठीक है नाउ डॉक्टर व्हाट इज द रिलेशन बिटवीन पी वेव एंड क्यू आर एस कॉम्प्लेक्स व्हाट इज द रिलेशन just like good old days uh, wife used to wait for husband to come for uh, dinner pehla bachon ko khila ke wo so jate to husband aane ke baad husband khayega wo ban jayega p wave baad mein wife khayega qrs modern life husband is cardiologist wife is neurologist honey where are you you are doing cardiac catheterization oh my god all right टुमारो मेरा कॉन्फ्रेंस है मैं तो स्विग्गी से फूड लाया और खत्म किया और रेफ्रिजरेटर में डाल दिया 
तो आने के बाद लाइक ए माई लिटिल प्रेटी डॉग के जैसे जरा फ्रिज से निकाल के हीट कर मुझे वेकअप माई करना क्योंकि अर्ली मॉर्निंग मेरा फ्लाइट है सो डिसोसिएशन इफ द एट्रियम एंड वेंट्रिकल है डिसोसिएशन ना स्विग्गी ऑर्डर लाना पड़े तो क्या हो जाता कभी कभी पी क्यू आर एस के पहले कभी कभी पी क्यू आर एस के पीछे सो समाइम्स क्यू आर एस विदाउट पी समाइम्स पी 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 क्यू आर एस क्यू आर एस क्यू आर एस पी क्यू आर एस पी पी क्यू आर एस क्यू आर एस क्यू आर एस पी 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 लाइक दैट देर इज ए मार्चिंग ऑफ क्यू आर एस ओवर द पी वे मार्चिंग ऑफ क्यू आर एस ओवर द पी वे पी वे के पीछे नहीं चल रहा है वो कभी पीवे के सामने आ रहे पीछे आ रहे और पीवे उसके ऊपर चढ़ रहे और ऑल दीज थिंग्स आर हैपनिंग दैट इज कॉल्ड एट्रियो वेंट्रिकुलर डिसोसिएशन वो कब होगा जब ये वेंट्रिकल इज नो मोर डिपेंडेंट ऑन द एट्रियम फॉर गेटिंग डिपोलराइज दैट विल हैपन व्हेन विल वेंट्रिकल इज नो मोर डिपेंडेंट the moment the av node completely blocked the love letters from sa node tab ventricle kya karega vishad prem geet gaate hue ventricular tachycardia generate karega wo apne gana wo gaega heroine ka gana heroine kyunki beech mein av node ne kya kiya ladki ka baap ne pura communication block kar diya tab aayega av dissociation so that is what you need to remember so there are three telltale signs to say that there is av dissociation on ecg what are they first is called a capture beat other is called a fusion beat so fusion beat ka matlab kya hai whenever av dissociation is there because of the block created by the av node ventricle created its own qrs कभी कभी क्या हो जाता समटाइम द ब्लॉक इज रिमूव वन लव लेटर सेंट बाय एस ए नोट आ गया और ये प्रेम विषाद गीत है ना उसको वो लव लेटर का लिटरेचर मिल जाके दोनों मिलके क्या हो जाएगा फ्यूजन बीट एबनॉर्मली शेप्ड क्यूरस कॉम्प्लेक्सेस बीच बीच में पैदा हो जाता तो कैप्चर बीट फ्यूजन बीट are the marker of av dissociation is what you need to remember very nice to see 47 online students so once more to all my wonderful guys let me tell you score neat pg app is all for you you have 40000 mcqs as subject wise tests Hundred full scale grant tests every day we discuss. One question paper morning ten o'clock the question paper comes, and evening we discuss. करेंगे. Then fifty thousand high yield facts which are based on the sentiment analysis of the examiner. What examiner want you need to prepare, not what uh, your teacher wants. So don't think. you take 3000 4000 pages to master general medicine anam how much time does it take to read one subject one day good i like that one day one subject right so 20 pages mein pura physiology ka gist rehna 30 pages mein pura biochemistry rehna 50 pe 52 pages mein hum pura surgery khatam kiya right so those basics ke baad applying that is most important that's the reason every day we discuss the questions all this we offer just for 2000 rupees subscription annual subscription one year ka enjoy it right and uh, tell us a good news that ek din hum kamyab hua sir acha rank mila so one of my student ne bola ki sir i am the commando in indian army after 10 years gap he got into ms general surgery he is now a top laparoscopic surgeon in the army so the promise he gave me is 
he will take me to vaishnava devi in army helicopter right so they are the pleasurable prideful things as a student i will have so i made a deal with anam i will send 10 poor patients who need a free cesarean delivery we have a deal right ha huh, that's good right so please do subscribe and uh, some of the students ask sir is such much real hai kya uh, or is it uh, any fake uh, message i say no no absolutely real best things in the world best things in the life are cheap honestly speaking they're free the best love is free right a, a kiss you need to deliver by paying money is not the safest kiss always right so that's reason doctor be great student believe in yourself that is most important thing i like to tell you never think 30 days hai 20 days hai days are just number if you are ready with what examiner want you will go and crack examiner want one monoclonal antibody ke upar question aayega examiner want you to answer a question correctly on gout drugs parkinsonism drugs migraine drugs kitna der lagta 5 minute lagta hai khatam karne ke now doctor vagal maneuvers let us talk about it so if you look at supra ventricular tachycardia where is it originating above the level of av node and a ventricular tachycardia from where is it arising it is arising at the level of the ventricle suppose if you put pressure on the vagus nerve it lead to slowing down of the av node will that help for a svt to be controlled or vt to be controlled if you make av node refractory you are preventing svt from going into vt into ventricle that's the reason svt become controlled ventricular rate will get controlled whenever we say rate it is ventricle rate so if it is the ventricular rate is high because of the supraventricular focus if you do vagal pressure maneuver then svt rate become control not the vt so that is what you need to basically remember now let us talk about broad complex tachycardia can you be able to appreciate doctor what how a broad complex tachycardia looks like very common as a intern you didn't get a chance to do one dc cardio version means you are a 500% innocent newborn right so there are few things they need to qualify before passing us in exam did this guy do at least a, a dozen intubations at least dozen intercostal drainage tubes at least a dozen foley catheter bhi nahi laga ke mbbs khatam karte bahut students ha huh? so today only take opportunity to look at the vt so whenever there is a broad complex tachycardia look whether it is regular or irregular if it is regular then it is what ventricular tachycardia suppose if it is irregular like this it is broad complex but irregular like this like this it is undulating then it is what either ventricular fibrillation or polymorphic ventricular tachycardia what is meant by polymorphic yaha agar aap dekhe to every qrs complex is looking same right that is polymorphic vt means polymorphic vt is one wide but small another wide but tall another wide but big like that like a multiple forms of wide qrs ultimately it all looks like a spindle which is called torsadis depointus whenever ventricular fibrillation or polymorphic vt is there broad complex tachycardia which is regular whereas regular vt is what you find regular broad complex tachycardia is vt clear now doctor 
In other words, all regular BCTs are considered to be unless proven otherwise VTs. So hope uh, I'm not too slow. Am I? I'll be fast. But the malum hai kab se fast ho na. Abhi ap just now the Lebanese belly dance started. Our teji me drum marne ke liye time hai. Can online students can punch whether the voice is loud and clear and uh, you are comfortable with the speed or you want to be me to be more fast or more slow? Please punch. Sai Krishna Reddy, wonderful. So happy to see you. Revati, Ibrahim and everybody. Now, doctor. Whenever bradycardia is there, you look for P waves. Is there a P wave present or not? Suppose if each P wave is followed by a QRS complex, there is bradycardia, but every QRS has got a P wave and P wave is followed by a QRS, then that is called as sinus bradycardia. Understand? Can you... Tell me, what is the most common cause for the sinus bradycardia? A lot of times your patients come to you, you are in the casualty. Uh, wo ga, oh, uska heart rate deke to 50 raita. Agar aap ECG nikale to kya hai? Ya, kitna hai? Bolo beta, first. Heart rate kitna hai? Ye, R wave, this is R wave. Between that, kitna mota dabbe hai? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 300 by 5 is 60. So, this is bradycardia, first of all. Second, before every QRS, there is a P wave. I mean, after every P wave, there is a QRS. P wave, QRS, P wave, QRS. P wave, QRS. That's the reason it is sinus bradycardia. Whenever a patient walks in with sinus bradycardia, first question you should ask. What will you ask? Ramaya, any Goodillingham, Dr. Goodillingham has started you on BP tablets? How many Dr. Garu? Recently, I am started, then he will take out beta blocker. Beta blockers are the most common cause for the Sinus bradycardia in a recently detected hypertensive. Understand? Second is hypothyroidism. Is another thing very significant hypothyroidism hai to bradycardia. Then look for whether every P wave is followed by QRS. Accordingly, if it is if every P wave is not followed by QRS, there is bradycardia, first of all between one R wave, another R wave, uh, when you calculate. But every P wave is not followed by QRS, then the possibility is what? AV node dysfunction, AV block. Right? So, I'll come back to AV block. Different types of AV block. Tension, Matalena. Next comes PR interval. Baya, ECG ke bhasha mein segment kya hota hai? Interval kya hota hai? Pehla ye batao. You have P wave. Then you have QRS. Between, I mean the end of P wave and beginning of the QRS, this isoelectric line is there, no? Iska duration agar aap calculate kare to, usko bolte hai, segment. Agar a isoelectric line ke saath ek wave ko bhi add kare to, then you call it as Interval. Very simple. Clear? So, how do you calculate PR interval? Starting of the P wave, including P wave, PR segment, until the start of the QRS complex. Until the start of the QRS complex. P wave and PR segment together. You call it as PR interval. Jedi in normal values, you have to remember. Only four values, four, five values only. 
normal PR interval is between 120 to 200 milliseconds. How much is the small box? 0.04 seconds. Milliseconds me bolo. 40 milliseconds. 120 me kitna 40 rate? 3. So 3 small boxes to 5 small boxes is what you are expecting PR interval. That is from the start of the P wave, including P wave and the isoelectric PR segment. Clear? Three small boxes to five small boxes. When do you call prolonged PR interval? The moment it is more than 200 milliseconds, more than five small boxes, which is equal to more than one large box. Clear? Ek dibbe se jada hai to. Ek dibbe se jada. Bada dibbe se jada hai to. PR interval. That is called PR prolongation. Only PR is prolonged means you call it as first degree hand block. That means P wave is there, QRS is there. But before next P wave comes, it is got delayed. It got delayed. Uh, sorry. Sorry, sorry. P wave is there. Next to QRS, I mean P wave associated QRS. If you have a beach, distance is not going to be able to get a distance. Then that is called. But P wave is there, QR is there. 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 Every P wave is followed by QR is only a QR is going to It is a little. Uh, see, some girls. चलो जाएंगे बोलते जाएंगे बोल के बाइक के ऊपर चढ़ जाते हैं कुछ लोग तैयार हो रहे हो आज जी आ वेट कर रहे हो अरे आज जी वेट करो अंडर दिस फेलो फर्स्ट शो हो गया सेकंड शो भी हाफ हो गया इंटरवल तक सो दैट इस कॉल्ड बट शी विल बी एक्सपेंडिंग हिम दैट इस पास्ट डिग्री हैंड ब्लॉक सो देन व once more, it is a hard block. The block at the level of AV node. This AV block is called second degree. Second degree has two types. One is called Mobitz type 1. Second is called Mobitz type 2. There is P wave, little delay, QRS. Then P wave, more delay, QRS. P wave, little more delay, QRS. Then only P wave, no QRS. That is called type 1. Pehla, WhatsApp mein block kiya. Baad mein Facebook mein block kiya. Baad mein aapke surat ko dekhne mein hi anjaan block kar diya. Aapke Facebook pehla, baad mein Facebook. By this time, the boy should understand he is going to get dumped. So then what uh, you should do, Shushan? Nicely wash the face and then go and propose to your uh, dumping girlfriend's roommate. Right? She will say, ah, se main soch rao. You two don't gel well, Sushan. I am the best guy. Come on, get on the bike. Right? So here, you have to understand Dumping hone wala hai. Usko bolte hai Mobitz type 1. Mobitz type 2 kya hota hai? P wave. QRS. Together. Same reading room. Same horizon. Same line. Abba. Most common. I2 sa most common. Oh the option ye. I2 sa ye. Both of them are coming to the reading room. Same time. Reading same line. Suddenly one day what did girl come and say? Hey. Sushan, how many days did you get this PG entrance? My dad said, the USMLE was the one who was the one who was the one. Right? That was a very warm one. So, I'm going to go with him. So, what happened to Sushan? His heart failed. Right? 
So P wave QRS, P wave QRS, P wave QRS. Suddenly QRS dumped and declared and gave wedding card to P wave, saying that I am no more there with you. Then what will happen? Cardiac arrest will happen to need PG Munde, right? So where do you need pacemaker? Second situation may. Mobits type 2 may you require not in type 1 because type 1 may heart is already prepared that something fishy is going to happen and ventricle QRS is going to drop down. Clear? Right. So, doctor, you can see here. How is the PR interval here? One minute. Uh, okay, here you can see. PR is normal, PR is slightly prolonged, more prolonged, and only P wave, no QRS. This is Venky back phenomena and Mobitz type 1. This is normal PR, normal PR, normal PR, but may only P, no QRS. That is type 2. Next. P wave is absent. Very good. Ibrahim Syed says, Sir, speed is okay, sir. Ashwin Ram says, Sir, only English, no Hindi, Urdu. Arabic or Punjabi, right? All right, all right, agree. Mafkar Baba. Huh. Then, <clears throat> whenever the P wave is absent, there are two possibilities. What are they? QRS may be narrow or QRS may be wide in a given rhythm. So whenever there is a absent P wave but QRS is narrow then that is called junctional escape rhythm. Whenever P wave is absent but QRS is there but it is wide that is called ventricular escape rhythm. Why? Because suppose if AV node became a pacemaker. Suresh Kaji Vital Peva. AV node became pacemaker instead of SA node. Deputy CM taken over the government. Then what will happen? It is creating, it is creating the electrical excitation to excite the ventricle. So what is the rule? Whenever ventricle is excited by the command of the AV node, then such a thing will be still a supraventricular only. I'm once more coming back to you. AV node, hai. if the AV node is has become pacemaker, not SA node, when that is exciting the ventricle, then such a ventricular rhythm typically will is called as is still a part of SVD. SVD means still where SA node, atria, or AV node, any of them, if they are the pacemakers, then that is still SVD. Always SVD will produce a QRS which is narrow. But suppose if AV node is completely blocked, then ventricle developed its own focus of excitation, and that is causing ventricular depolarization. Then the escape rhythm will be wide. In both the situations, Atria is not receiving depolarization. That's the reason P wave is absent. Clear? Now let us see. Let us see. P wave QRS. 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 But suddenly, kya ho gaya? P wave. Absent. P wave is absent. This is T wave. P wave is absent. Then it, then what happened? Then what happened? AV node itself became uh, strong and it uh, stimulated the ventricle. That gave rise to a narrow QRS. This is called junctional escape. Abhi idhar dekho. P wave QRS, P wave QRS, P wave QRS, P wave QRS. And suddenly, kya ho gaya? P wave absent. 
and ventricle it created its own rhythm and this is called ventricular escape rhythm clear now you know rate rhythm svt vt p wave how to analyze what is the av block you are almost uh, one fourth of uh, cardiologist clear itna chote chote simple simple things first year mein sikhana hai not how to use a cube to calculate esr wo to lab technician karega roz hum karte kya nahi karte the whole mbbs can be taught in 6 months first year mein baad mein hospital ko bhej dena usko don't come to college and all the stupid classes understand Four years practice karega, they become better than RMP Sino. RMP Sino, RMP कैसे बन गया? उनको Doctor Sino ने बोले तो बहुत नाराज हो जाएगा. Tenth fail है, मगर Doctor Sino बोला. कहीं को What is this sir? I do know to give subtraction. I know that you give subtraction only, right? So I do know how to give dexamethasone. So now comes axis. there are few simple things if you understand about axis life is easy who is a medical student medical student is the one who finished biology physics chemistry know where that physics came into help you remember second year 12th class mein electricity heat thermodynamics padhte but one place where it is useful is ecg What did our physics teacher बताया हमको राजू जब भी electricity electrical charge comes closer to an electrode that lead to positive deflection. Whenever electrical charge leaves the electrode, it creates a negative deflection. Simple rule. Once upon a time. Volt, Mr. Volt discovered that French, Italian, whatever he is. Now we should do it. We tie some electrodes to the human body and decide the axis of the heart. Understand? So uh, once upon a time. there used to live one beautiful girl called uh, what we'll call her chikubuku chikubuku right so this chikubuku chikubuku in chikubuku is not really looking uh, good no huh chikubukiana <laughs> in italy so chikubukiana is a beautiful a uh, girl and uh, into when fell in love with chikubukiana into when came to chikubukiana and said hey chikubukiana chikubuku chikubuku i fall in love with you chikubukiana said how can i agree with your love into when my daddy should agree my daddy you have to convince my daddy oh what should i do to convince my daddy you only ask him so he went to chikubukiana's daddy kilikili he asked kilikili bahubali ka kilikili will can i marry chikubukiana ah how can it be possible my wife says i don't have heart prove that i have heart then i will uh, give chikubuki chikubukiana then what intoven did intoven came to uh, beach pondicherry beach he was uh, singing uh, why this kolavaridi how can i marry chikubukiana then uh, intoven's friend was volt he was studying in jipmer so he came and said are bevkuf tu kya hai re simple thing hai na in our physics coaching classes chaitanya narayana me what did they teach 
any electrical signal leaving the will produce negative deflection which is coming towards will produce positive deflection ek electrode laga do kilikili ko aur uska agar dil hai to which his wife doesn't agree he is a butcher kilikili was butcher by occupation chikubuki on as for daddy so if he has heart his electrical activity will be going towards left so that is the reason what you do you tie left arm and right arm negative electrode on the right arm and positive on the left arm if at all electrical activity is going towards the left automatically it should cause a positive deflection in this lead khel khatam dukan band simple acha ye acha hai re बट वन प्रूफ बोले तो काफी नहीं है ना क्योंकि शादी में क्या बोलते कुबुल 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 सो ये कुबुल से नहीं होगा दूसरा कुबुल कहा मिलेगा यू टाई हिज राइट आर्म एंड लेफ्ट लेग टाई ए पॉजिटिव लीड इन लेफ्ट लेग एंड नेगेटिव लीड इन राइट आर्म सो इलेक्ट्रिकल एक्टिविटीज गोइंग फ्रॉम राइट टू लेफ्ट अब टू डाउन टू वर्ड्स पॉजिटिव लीड ऑफ दिन टाइट टू द लेफ्ट लेग सो इसलिए क्या हो गया इट हैज बिकम पॉजिटिव अंडरस्टैंड सो दे कॉल दिस लीड एज लीड टू विच इज कनेक्टिंग राइट आर्म एंड लेफ्ट लेग राइट आर्म एंड लेफ्ट आर्म इज कॉल्ड लीड वन अभी कुबुल 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 भी बोलना थर्ड कुबुल कहा मिलेगा लेफ्ट आर्म विथ left leg left arm with left leg so isko kya bola usne lead 3 bol diya clear lead 3 bhi left mein hai aur upar se niche aa rahe sorry our friend said no hindi no okay very nice to see prasoon bhai ji saying i have joined community medicine sir excellent doctor so left arm to left leg left arm to left leg so that is what lead to lead three right arm to left leg lead two right arm to left arm lead one in all the three it is going from right to left and that's the reason how will be the deflection positive 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 in all the three you will have a r wave only positive wave is called r wave only qrs complex will be overall r only will be seen in all the three clear but right leg is grounded otherwise uh, kilikili will die with electrical uh, shock it need to be grounded so we don't tie anything except groundingly clear so right arm to left leg is lead to left arm to left leg is lead three ban gaya in to when triangle abba thanks re volta in to when went running to kilikili and said chikubukiana will be my girl please arrange marriage let us try and positive waves are coming kush शादी हो गया फर्स्ट नाइट है तब हो गया सुहाग रात है तू मेरे आम में सिमट जाना बोल के वो ओपन किया क्या पर्दे पर क्या बोलते हैं इसको घूंगट घूंगट को लिफ्ट किया तो चिकबुक आना सेट डोंट टच मी जस्ट बिकॉज माय फोर फादर दट बुचर believed you were lead 1 2 3 you have shown little positive waves not enough because chikubukiana did iit chennai mein mtech kiya usne bola ki i am iit i am ahmedabad iit chennai you can't fool me show me more evidence my father has the heart show me more positive evidence because all your waves are so small 
I doubt your masculinity also is it big enough or not. Get out of my bed, she said. Once more, he came to Pondicherry Beach. Old Takhil. Kya hua re? Abhi kya hua re? Suhag raat hai tu aake Pondicherry Beach mein bed gaya. Nahi re, wo to bohut brilliant hai re. Brilliant girls ko shadi karte vayi tension hota hai. Need pe ji topper ko shadi kare to first question is all are through except answer kare to gabbo bed. Otherwise, get out. <laughs> so, then Volta said, don't worry, brother. There is a way to augment these uh, signals. How? Tie the right arm. What is? Where is the right arm? Right arm. And left leg. Make them one lead. And compare with the लेफ्ट आर्म ये दोनों को मिला के एक लीड बनाओ उसको नेगेटिव इलेक्ट्रोड से कनेक्ट करो और कंपेयर इट विथ लेफ्ट आर्म वो हो गया ए बी एल सो द एंटायर इलेक्ट्रिकल एक्टिविटी इज गोइंग टूवर्ड्स द लेफ्ट साइड बट स्ट्रीट इज गोइंग टू लेफ्ट दस रीजन हाउ बी क्यूर इज पॉजिटिव क्लियर देन ए बी आर मीन्स वॉट लेफ्ट आर्म लेफ्ट लेग दोनों मिला के मेक इट वन लीड कंपेयर इट विथ राइट आर्म नो वॉट हैपन एंटायर इलेक्ट्रिकल एक्टिविटी इज गोइंग डाउन फ्रॉम राइट टू लेफ्ट वेर एज हियर इट इज गोइंग फ्रॉम लेफ्ट आर्म लेफ्ट लेग एज वन लीड टूवर्ड्स राइट आर्म सो दैट इज द रीजन ए वी आर एकदम ऑपोजिट है जस्ट लाइक लीड टू इज सेम Lead to, you remember, lead to is connecting right arm with the left leg, just like it is exactly in the same, exactly opposite is AVR. That's the reason whenever you look at AVR, no, everything is negative. QRS is negative, T wave is negative. Huh? Arthan galay. Arthan galay. Arthan Thank you, Vinisha. At least one student said I did not understand. Actually, you become a good teacher if you have a bunch of ADHD students. Otherwise, if everyone is genius, where is the point? <laughs> Vinisha is still thinking kili kili story. That's they are all called as deviations. Uh, Come out of the first night scene, uh, Vinisha. Let's get into the actual scene of uh, ECG. Okay? Ha, abhi dekho. How did you get lead two? First, fada fada bolo. Lead one, left arm, right arm. Right arm to left arm. Lead two, right arm to left leg. Lead three, left arm to left leg. Clear till here. Then how are you getting AVR? Left arm, left leg made one, compared with the right arm. So that is the reason this is going completely towards bottom to top and right, left to right. Whereas electrical activity of the heart is right to left, right to left, about to below. Now S A node to A B node to heart, right? So this is coming in this direction. A V R is going. Opposite direction. That is the reason all waves are typically negative in AVR. What is a very common mistake done by these ECG technicians? Misplaced links. Right ka left karte, left ka right karte. ECG dekte hi. How can you identify that? If at all AVR is positive, then you should check whether. Uh, you are so called so recently taken most beautiful ecg technician intern right go left kiya left go right kiya just because she has seen a charming doctor like sushan eh? we very sure right left confusion nahi hona so clear doctor then what is left over avl samajh mein aa gaya avr you understood what is left avf You connect right arm and left arm and make it one and compare with 
left leg that became AVF. Clear? So, abhi kitna ho gaya aapko? Lead 1, lead 2, lead 3. AVL, AVR, AVF. All these are tying what? Limb. Limbs. Hence, they are called limb limbs. Only what are six precordial limbs? V1, V2, V3, V4, V5, V6. Sarigama Padanisa. Right? Now, let's take a quick look. If you look at the electrical activity, electrical activity, how is it passing? Electrical activity. This is, this is which side? Right. This is left. This is above, this is below. From right to left, above to below, it is passing. How is lead one placed? From right to left. So this is also passing towards that only. Clear? Then how is the AVF? AVF also above to below. Right? Or if you take lead two. Lead two. How is lead two passing? Right to left. Right? So that is also about to below. Agree? So now, if at all the heart undergone a right axis deviation, if that means electrical activity instead of passing like this, it is passing like this. Electrical activity of the heart. The mean electrical axis of the heart, which has undergone right axis deviation, it is passing instead of like this, it is passing like this. Clear? Then what will happen? Will there be any change in AVF? AVF is going down and this is also going down only. That's the reason still AVF will record positive R wave only. But lead one will record negative. Suppose if, if the heart has undergone a left axis deviation. Left axis deviation is not this. It is left and above. Above this meridian, like this, it is going. Then what will happen? AVF will record? Negative. Negative. And uh, lead one still record? Positive. Positive. So just by looking at two leads, you can decide. Look at lead one and AVF. If both lead one and AVF are showing the positive waves, then that is normal axis. Because normal axis is passing like this, it is passing through the positive aspect of lead one and also positive aspect of lead area. Clear? But if it is a right axis deviation, it causes negative deflection in lead one and positive deflection in area. Suppose if it is passing towards left axis deviation, if it is there, it causes positive deflection in lead one, but negative deflection in area. Jaiswal, clear? Jaiswal is most brilliant, common sense factor very high. Because of the working in government, if you don't have common sense, you can't survive a government job. Correct? Right? Kaun bakwas baat kar rahe, kaun sachai baat kar rahe. Ek second mein samajna. Nahi to... And that way, join government job, only reason is that. To build your common sense. Right? So, now, what will you do? You think that uh, you will go to the bedside of the patient and uh, like a Bhutavaidya or uh, like a Jyotish. Tera kundali mein e sakkil hai. E sakkil mein lead one is taraf ja rahe, wo us taraf ja rahe. Bulke shukra mein guru hai, guru mein budu hai, bulke wo mar jayega. Huh? So it is difficult. A kundali, intaven ka kundali hai na? Okay. Sorry. It's not even Hindi. Swachya Hindi nahi hai. That is, this is Latin actually. See, you can't go to the bedside of the patient and uh, uh, you can't say that, uh, see, this is your uh, astrological chart because it is going towards Shukra, 
this is going towards buddha you are going to die due to left tax deviation or right tax you like you can't say that right so what is a easy way by which you can make a diagnosis just with one look simple look at the lead one look at the lead avf either you can look at the lead two or avf or three two three avf or all the three are same they are all going towards inferior aspect of the heart two three avf if lead one is looking up lead two is also looking up then that is a normal or abnormal if lead one is positive lead one is positive and lead two three avf any of them two will be like this three will be like this avf is like this all the three are going down if two three or avf any of them are all positive then that means it is going normal clear diksha no good i am always happy let us uh, once more just before you understood this now then why are you where are you confused see you remember this uh, circle what is this uh, diksha this is lead one lead one this is the negative aspect this is positive aspect lead one is going from right to left electrical normal axis is also coming like this right so when it is coming like this it is on both side of the positive side or negative side of one positive side that's the reason lead one will show positivity is it on the positive side this is the positive side of av of 2 and 3 both 2 and 3 also will be a uh, positive side that's the reason normally 2 3 av of also will show positive qrs till here clear now let us talk about left axis and right axis suppose you go to left axis left axis left axis means like this it is on positive side or negative side of one are one is here no this is positive side of one this is negative side of one it is going towards when left axis deviation means it is going like this it is going towards and uh, is it going towards the negative side or positive side of avf that's the reason avf 2 3 may it will be negative and uh, lead 1 may it will be positive if it is a left axis, left axis deviation suppose if it is a right axis deviation it is on the positive side of 2 3 avf but it is on the negative side of lead 1 so lead 1 if it is negative but lead 2 3 avf if it is positive then it is right axis right axis left axis sir ammo yes right axis so ikkada kanapadutundi kada abba right axis no 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 unacceptable my jaro gar jaro okay i'll ask questions lead one positive lead av of positive normal lead one negative lead av of positive lead one negative lead av of negative normal chat gpt stopped working <laughs> see lead one negative lead av of lead av of also negative this is called extreme right axis deviation this is called extreme right axis deviation extreme right axis clear oh oh nahi hota only left axis right axis hota extreme right axis chhod do theek hai ha in tar gurtu tera malla meru gurtu tere sir madhyam malli alaga that's the reason uh, during marriage three times kubul kubul bola bolte bolne ke liye bolte pehle bar confusion ke sath second bar denial ke sath third bar adjustment ke sath 
So now tell me, lead one is positive. Lead A V F is positive, right? So लड़का ऊपर देख रहा है, लड़की भी ऊपर देख रहा है. दोनों मिलके क्या देख रहे हैं? Arundhati nakshatra. So what are they doing? Marriage. Marriage is normal or abnormal? At least expected to start normal. Then क्या हो गया? Lead one is positive. Lead two is negative. Lead three is also negative. Lead AVF is also negative. Husband is a cardiologist. Tomorrow morning, ten angios are there. He turned this side of the bed and sleeping. Wife neurologist. She need to go to international conference of aspirin is good or not in stroke. Talking in uh, Chicago, she turns this side and uh, sleeps. Between them, who is their pillow? So, what happened to both of them? They already left each other in their life, right? So, this is looking up. This is looking down. So, dono they left each other is equal to left axis deviation. Then. Lead one is negative, looking down. Lead two, lead three, lead AVF, QRS is looking up. Sushan is looking down. Sangeeta is looking up. Chupulu Kalisina Shubhavela. They are right towards each other. That is called right axis deviation. So, lead one is negative, lead three is positive, they are right towards each other, is called right axis deviation. Lead one positive, but lead two, three AVF are negative, they left each other. They both are looking up and looking positive, then that is normal axis. Diksha ji, samaj mein aagaya? Badaya, bahut achi baat hai. So, only thing is you need to keep on practicing on ECGs, no more... Uh, um, Worried about what are these dabbas, small dabba, big dabba and all that. Okay, done doctor. Now let us start. Why do you get right axis deviation? Why do you get right axis deviation? Unless proven otherwise, all axis deviations are because of their respective ventricular hypertrophies. So that means, that means, let us say right ventricle is hypertrophied. Why will right ventricle hypertrophy? Suppose if there is a pulmonary hypertension, then it uh, right ventricle need to pump against high pulmonary pressure. So right ventricular hypertrophy. When the myocardial uh, amount is high, then electrical voltage created also is high. That's the reason what happened to the electrical activity. It took long time to depolarize the entire thick myocardium. That's the reason the entire axis has shifted towards right. So right ventricular hypertrophy is most common. Abhi ek point aega. Maze mein samajna hai isko. Left posterior fascicular block lead to right axis deviation. Why? Let's start. Dekhe jana. Evi node hai. AV node will give rise to left bundle, right bundle. Left bundle has two fascicles. One is called anterior fascicle, other is called posterior fascicle. Anterior fascicle depolarizes the entire ventricle. Posterior fascicle depolarizes the septum. Suppose if posterior fascicle is blocked, let us say posterior fascicle is blocked, then what should happen? SA node to AV node electrical activity came. From AV node it went into anterior fascicle. It depolarized the ventricle. After it finished its job, it need to come towards the huh? septum which is on which side of the left ventricle, right side, and then depolarize the 
area supplied by posterior fascicle. So the area supplied by posterior fascicle is located towards which side? Right side. That's the reason entire electrical activity is deviated towards right side. Clear? Could you understand? Yes, sir. Left is causing issue with the right. Aha. So come back once more to the same story. Assume that posterior fascicle is blocked. Sorry, anterior fascicle is blocked. Then what will happen? SA node to AV node. Then posterior fascicle area septum is depolarized. Then the posterior fascicular electrical activity need to go to left side and depolarize the left ventricle. So that will lead to left axis deviation. Now I will ask one question. Is ko jo answer karte hai, usko need PG me seat aega. Clear? Ready? If there is a left bundle branch block, what will be the axis deviation? If there is a left bundle branch block, bundle itself branch block, what will be the axis deviation? Online students also. Sushan, what is your answer? If the left bundle branch block, online students, you also punch. Right. So, if the left bundle branch block, what will be the axis deviation? Come on, doctor. Diksha, left axis. We need, hey, don't do Googling. No chat GPT. Ah, tell me, tell me. Are you asking your husband to give the answer? Pathologists don't know axis and all that. Right. Kind of confused. Left end the country, no right end the dadu. If the left axis Afro Sultana Paplo Kalishao. Right axis saying Afro Sultana. Ravi Kumar, Paplo Kalu, right axis. Why? Are they simple, not doctor. If the left bundle branch is blocked, what should happen? Right. SA node to AV node, AV node to right. After the right finished its electrical activity, it need to come to the yes. left side and depolarize. Hence, entire electrical activity is going towards yes. left. So, left axis deviation will occur. So, if the right bundle branch block is there, the entire electrical activity first to finish the yes. left-sided activity and then need to come to right side. The one which is blocked. So the one the, which is blocked is on which side? That side will be the deviation. deviation. Clear? Now, summarize. left anterior fascicular block leads to Left hand fascicular block lead to anterior fascicular. Left axis deviation. Left posterior fascicular block lead to right axis deviation. Left bundle branch block lead to left axis deviation. Right bundle branch block lead to Kushko Gaya Mugambo. Right? Hope the online students could get that. Afros, Kishtiji, and everybody. If even one student online or offline did not understand, raise the hand. I will once more explain. But that will slow down our lunch time. <laughs> right? Huh. So, if secondum ASD is there, so ASD meant two types, primum, secondum. Secondum ASD also ultimately will lead to right axis deviation. Septum primum lead to left axis deviation. Septum primum lead to left axis deviation. Similarly, right axis deviation is normal in infants and children. So you go a lot of uh, pediatric ward, you will find this. How do you identify right axis deviation in them? Lead one will show. Down and lead three will show. 
அப்ப குடுத்துட்டு ரைட் ரைட் சுஷாந்த் குடுத்து வச்சிருக்கிறது எப்படி சுஷாந்த் சங்கீதா சோ ரைட் ஆக்சஸ் டெவியேஷன் குடுத்துட்டு கதை so you go to the pediatric ward lot of kids will have right axis deviation but that is still considered to be normal is what you need to remember so tell me left axis deviation due to left ventricular hypertrophy left interventricular block asd primum left bundle branch block even in inferior wall am i also you get left axis deviation you need to remember khatam khel you need break no no uh-huh. till now no confusion finish up now comes 25 percent is over up 160 slides are there uh-huh. 50 are over another 120 slides are there i'll run fast hmm? now comes precordial leads what are they b1 b2 b3 b4 b6 six will go into the left so if you look at the heart this is the heart v1 is directly looking to the right right heart and by the time v6 it is looking to left heart so now by the time you reach the v3 v4 it is looking to septum understand so now if you look at the electrical activity how is it passing this is v1 this is v6 v2 v3 v4 v5 so now how is electrical activity is passing from right to left so that is the reason what will be the predominant wave in uh, v1 electrical activity is leaving v1 or coming towards v1 isliye what will you have in uh, a big q wave oh, sorry s wave not q wave s wave why called s because there is a little r wave but a significant s wave little r wave by the time it comes to v2 nagpur se balarsha station aa gaya so r became little more and still negative by the time you reach septum some part is approaching some part is leaving equally that's the reason it is equiphasic by the time you reach v4 amount leaving is less coming towards it is more so r prominent by the time you come to v6 full r no yes no yes right so this is what you see the progression what is this called good r wave progression but suppose if somebody had a myocardial infarction ischemia necrosis of the myocardium will we will the uh, ventricle left ventricle be is able to produce enough electrical activity no that's the reason r is there but r is not prominent r it is still a small r that is called poor r wave progression which is typically seen whenever you have a ischemic heart disease is what you need to remember so summarize doctor how is the heart looked at the heart is looked at by Two, three AVF are called inferior leads. Then what are lateral, left to lateral leads? Lead one. AVL. How do you get AVL? Yes. Right arm, left leg made one lead, looking to yes. left arm. So that is also looking to left AVL. And V five, V six are lateral leads. What are anterior leads? v1 v2 v3 v4 are called anterior leads will you remember this for me don clear abba we know rate we know rhythm we know av blocks we know svt we know vt we know axis amma inda kante actual avasaram undi ee maatram telisthe panditulu ayipotharu 
सो यू फिनिश्ड ऑलमोस्ट वेदास अभी उपनिषद शुरू करेंगे एबनॉर्मैलिटीज बट बिफोर दैट लेट थोड़ा पी वेव के बारे में पढ़ाई करेंगे सो वॉट इज पी वेव वेर डू सी पी वेव पी वेव इज टिपिकली इन लीड वन एंड टू पी वेव इज अपराइट अपराइट वाई वॉट इज लीड पी वेव वॉट इज लीड वन एंड टू सो लीड वन एंड टू द इलेक्ट्रिकल दिस इज वॉन्ट राइट एट्रियम दिस इज लेफ्ट एट्रियम वेर इज एस ए नोड लोकेटेड क्लोजर टू राइट एट्रियम सो इट इज ओरिजिनेटिंग इन द एस ए नोड ऑन द राइट एट्रियम एंड ट्रेवलिंग टूवर्ड्स लेफ्ट एट्रियम एंड वेर इज द लीड वन एंड टू दिस इज ऑल्सो फ्रॉम राइट टू लेफ्ट इज लीड वन राइट आर्म टू लेफ्ट लेग इज लीड टू दिस इज एन इवन दिस इज ऑल्सो पासिंग फ्रॉम राइट टू लेफ्ट and even your electrical activity is going from right atrium to left atrium that's the reason it is typically upright there is avr to rone wala lead hai r to rone wala lead hai p wave v inverted qr is v inverted t wave v inverted sab kuch v inverted that is what is avr because avr electrical activity is passing left to right and here uh, activity is passing from right to right atrium to left atrium so it is inverted in avr so if you look at the p wave what is the duration typically a p wave is less than 120 milliseconds matlab how many small boxes 40 milliseconds is one small less than 3 small boxes and what is the height typically if you look in the limb leads what are limb leads diksha lead 1 2 3 avl avr avf in all the limb leads amplitude is less than 2.5 2.5 means two and half small boxes whereas in precordial leads v1 v2 v3 v4 v5 v6 amplitude is less than 1.5 mm now comes a garma garam discussion if you look at the p wave p wave there is one right there is one right atrium other is the left atrium when two atria are there why only one p wave so in the p wave first one third is because of right atrial activation final one third corresponds to left atrial activation and middle one third is combination of the two understand but first what is happening right atrium right atrium suppose assume that right atrium is enlarged when will right atrium enlarge suppose the pulmonary hypertension is there that put pressure on right when that put pressure on right atrium and that will cause right atrium to uh, enlarge so whenever right atrium is enlarged or hypertrophy then what will happen that initial one third contributed by right atrium become prominent and it will superimpose on the small left atrial contribution in the last one third still it remains one p wave only but a very prominent p wave clear whenever right atrial hypertrophy is there right atrium becomes so enlarged that first one third voltage become so high that last one third small voltage become part of that big right atrial voltage so finally only one p wave will be there but a prominent p wave clear सेकेंड और क्या हो सकता है राइट एट्रियल एनलाजमेंट के बाद लेफ्ट एट्रियल एनलाजमेंट लेफ्ट एट्रियल एनलाजमेंट कहा होता है माइकल सिनोसिस है तो तो तब क्या हो गया फर्स्ट वन थर्ड कॉन्ट्रीब्यूटेड बाई राइट एट्रियम रिमेन सेम 
earlier last one third contributed by left atrium used to be staying inside the single p wave but abhi kya ho gaya left atrial enlargement ke wajah se it is taking long time to contribute that last one third so that is the reason voltage remains the same height but the width become more and you get a m shaped p wave where first bump is because of right it like to the second bump is because of enlarged left atrium and that is called p mitre where will you see this kind of change in lead to why lead to because it is see the from right to left it is like a right to left wala lead in this you need to look for p waves abnormalities if it is p pulmonary it looks more prominent if it is p mitral it looks like a bifid p wave in which lead we are talking about lead to because lead to is passing right to left and electrical activity of the right atrium is passing to left initial one third contributed by right atrial activity last one that is contributed by left atrium clear so p mitral p pulmonary where do you see p mitral p pulmonary you will see it in lead to clear now how will be the morphology of the p wave in v1 now tell me where is v1 located right arm you all agree with me it is not right to left like lead to only right right only only right right only is v1 agree so that is the reason how will be normal p wave normal p wave in lead v1 will never be single p wave it will be single p wave if it is lead to not in lead v1 in lead v1 how will it be it will be biphasic v1 is on right side initial activity of the p wave is due to right atrium dono right mein hai that is the reason initially it will be positive p then it left to left side electrical activity gone to right atrium to left atrium and it left the v1 that is the reason it will be a negative wave so initially positive wave then a negative wave so typically if you look in the purely right sided lead like v1 initially you have a positive wave then a negative wave clear agar right atrial hypertrophy ho gaya to lead v1 mein kya hoga what will happen in v1 the initial positive contribution done by the right atrium become more prominent and the last one third left atrium deviation remains the same suppose if left atrial enlargement happened in mitral stenosis and you look in v1 what will happen initial deflection remains same because it is contributed by right atrium but the later deviation caused by left atrium become more negative more negative so whether it is right hyper right atrial enlargement or left atrial enlargement or normal any situation v1 bole to it's a biphasic it's a biphasic wave biphasic wave but normal person positive phase caused by right atrial activity and negative phase caused by left atrial activity will be same but if there is a right atrial hypertrophy the positive initial aspect become more prominent if it is a left atrial hypertrophy the negative deflection caused by left atrium in the last one third will be more prominent are we clear clear did anybody teach like this no no east or west who is best murli bharadwaj sir yeah that's right because 
a poor student, a dumb moron like me, can understand that you can't understand. So a teacher who understands that you can't understand is the best teacher, always. So now, doctor, hey, they go. Lead to. Lead to, it is monophasic. Lead V1, P wave is biphasic. So in the lead V1, if you look at it, how is uh, P wave? Initially, positive. positive, contributed by right atrium. Later, negative, negative deflection contributed by negative. left atrium. If there is any right atrial enlargement, in the lead to, it become it is monophasic always. It is more prominent. And uh, this is M-shaped, p mitral. But if it is V1, it is a biphasic wave only. But initial part, positive part become more prominent if it is right atrial enlargement. And left atrial enlargement will lead to more negative. Let us look into it. This is what lead to. Lead to it is always biphasic or monophasic? Diksha no correct wrong answer yet though. Lead to is correct? No monophasic and by no in the canto at law, Diksha. So monophasic or biphasic? Monophasic or biphasic? Equalia. See, a lot of times learning mein kya hota na, hype hota hai. Hype bole to, aray wo dekho re, wo physiology mein gold medal re, wo to dekho re, pathology mein to top re. So everybody keep uh, appraising one boy or one girl in the class and we all think, hum yaha kyo hai, hum nalaik hai. <laughs> then, kya re? तू तेरे चेहरे का भी आईना में देखा तू हायरजन पढ़ रहे क्या बोलके सीनियर्स बोलेगा दिन विल थिंक मैं भी हायरजन इज़ नॉट पर इट इज़ रिटेन इन लैटिन इट इज़ नॉट रिटेन इन इंग्लिश राइट एंड समबडी विल क्रिएट अ हाइप दैट अरे रीनल चुबला रेजिडोसिस मेटाबॉलिक रेजिडोसिस अल्कोलोसिस we are all brilliant, but for the dirty work done by our seniors, right? So that's the reason. Think if Intaven understood, why can't I? Agree? And uh, when you are learning, no, keep away the fear that I cannot understand. Anybody can understand. If they know right hand is on right side, left hand is on left side. Now tell me, doctor. Monophasic or biphasic is lead to lead V1. Initial one third is caused in lead V1 by negative deflection by whenever there is a left axis deviation, negative will become more negative or positive become more positive. Come on, Diksha. Whenever left axis deviation, you understood means whole India understood. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm trolling you. So, so left axis deviation boleto initial positive become more uh, positive or negative become more negative? Negative become more negative. That is your answer, Vida? I became more positive. <laughs> right? Ha. Now tell me, how is the P wave here? How do you know it is prominent? What is the height? More than two and a half? More than 2.5 mm in height. That means definitely prominent. That's the reason this is what? P mitral or P pulmonal? P pulmonal. Shabash. Then how is it in the uh, lead to? How is this? P mitral. So how is that? Huh? Good. Then uh, right atrial enlargement. 
Typically in lead V1, it is biphasic or monophasic? Now, this is the P wave. So because of the right atrial enlargement, how is the P looking? Positive deflection more prominent. Positive deflection is looking. See, this is QRS. This is T wave. This is P wave. P wave is biphasic. But a prominent initial positive deflection. Then this is what? P wave. So this initial deflection is little, but later deflection, negative deflection is more prominent. That's the reason this is left atrial enlargement. Story katam. Sure. I'm so happy 40 students abhi bhi chodke rege. So doctor, totally 140 slides, we finished 60 slides. Am I too slow? Is Diksha creating breaks? No, 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 no. Good. You know, always, uh, if you, you should give wrong answers. If you give wrong answers, I will know that uh, I taught you like a idiot. If student didn't do, teacher is idiot actually, not student, right? So we'll come to beautiful con component called Q-Wave. Do minute ke baad. We'll have a quick voice break, not tea break. Tea break, I'll give you after 100th slide.
So welcome back to the game, Doctor. Let us start with the most important uh, wave called Q wave. Q wave, negative wave or positive wave, uh, Diksha? Q wave is negative wave or positive wave? Negative wave. Negative wave, no? Huh? So Q wave is negative wave before R wave. S wave is negative wave after R wave. So Q wave. From where does Q wave originate? Why we get Q wave? Why we get Q wave? Mm -hmm. All of you know that the entire electrical activity is starting in the SA node, going to the AV node and going to towards the left side axis. This interventricular septum, if you take the left posterior fascicle, there's one anterior fascicle, there's a postural fascicle. Postural fascicle depolarizes the interventricular septum on the left side. First on the left, because this is on the, this is the left ventricle, na? and that passes towards the right side. So, pura electrical activity is going towards Normally, pura electrical activity is going too much. Yes. Main heart activity is going too much. Yes. Yes. Left. That's the reason you have this R wave. But this septal activity is going too much. Right. 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 Away from the left-sided leads. That's the reason it will be a negative wave. So normally only where you should see the Q wave. Little Q wave before R wave. Normal, normal person. Left sided leads or right sided leads? Septal leads. Huh? Septal leads. No, no, no. Right. In which leads? 
in which leads the electrical activity which is going from left to right in the septum should cause a left axis deviation i mean a negative deflection left side it leads because it is going from left to right then right side it leads do you ever expect any q wave never kaiku because electrical activity is coming towards towards the right side from left to right it is coming now huh so there's a reason any right sided lead you will never see q wave because septal activity is passing from left to right why should uh, when you are getting money order why will you cry your daddy should cry who is on the left side because he is sending you the money understand so left sided leads may to have a little q wave is okay because septal activity is passing from left to right right sided leads may finding any q wave is abnormal clear 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 any doubt so the q wave represents the left to right depolarization of interventricular septum so small septal q wave is typically found normally only in left sided leads what are left sided leads lead 1 right to left interval then avl avl which is how do you get avl diksha right, right arm, arm left leg compared to left arm so avl and which precardial leads are left sided b5 b5 one avl b5 b6 me little q wave is okay understand that's what you need to remember so it's a septal deviation septal depolarization this is the apical depolarization septal depolarization is towards the right side that's the reason normally only all the left sided leads which include lead 1 then uh, avl and v5 v6 may little negative wave before r wave is okay but never in right sided like v1 v1 is purely right sided lead isme kai ko hona nahi hona so under normal circumstances you will never find you will never find a negative that is a q wave in the v1 v2 v3 v1 v2 v3 are on the right side and septal activity is going from left to right side never find it in v1 v2 v3 abhi batao diksha every class me i will get one diksha who is my typical student right i mean you are very brilliant you know when you are very brilliant you will think when you think da it interferes with understanding always remember those who think and analyze take little longer to understand but permanently understand i mean do all all others don't be angry on me who is giving correct answers so right so uh, now abhi dekho beta normally v1 mein what type of qrs complex you will have mujhe batao will you find prominent r prominent s what kind of r wave will you find a r wave which is like uh, this or you will find a r wave i mean a qrs which is like this or a qrs which is like this r is small r is small r is small r is prominent. prominent in v1 by the time you come to v6 you get a r prominent s is smaller it's not moving ha huh. clear then my next question in the v1 do you find any q before this little r no. 
No. If you find it, you'll be angry. Diksha will be angry. No. Q wave before that little small R wave. What you find is only little small R with the prominent S wave. Clear? That is V1 to V3. So now let us look V6. V6 may before R, is it normal to find a small Q wave like this? Yes. Huh? yes. yes. Why V6 is? Left-sided lead and the Q wave caused by septal activity, which is going from left to right and leaving the left-sided lead, which is V6. When do you call pathological Q wave? Any Q that you see in the right-sided lead like V1, V2, V3 is pathological. Because when the septal activity is coming towards the right-sided right -sided lead, eh? why should right-sided lead should show negative wave? It should not. If it is showing means heart attack. Heart attack ho gaya. Samas me na? And left-sided, normally only little Q is there. If normally only if the boyfriend has a depressing face, how do you recognize depression in him? Normally only if the boyfriend has a depressed face, how will you recognize that he really has depression? Of course, without beard. Now he has beard. That's the reason I consider he's really depressed. Otherwise, normally only you... Upma kya kya? Gulab jam kya kya? No compliment, nothing. Normally only crying face. So how will you identify he is really depressed? Beard grow kare to. Right? Ha. So beard me pediculosis pubis bhi hai to. Much more depressed. <laughs> so... So, doctor, how do you identify pathological Q wave? If the width of this Q wave, width of this Q wave is more than 40 milliseconds. 40 milliseconds means one small box. If the depth of the Q wave is more than 2 mm, then this Q wave is before whom? Positive R wave. So, if it is more than 25% of the depth of the QRS may R positive hai na? Oh, R's height say Q's depth is more than 25%. Like Jay Badri is 25% the height of Amitabh Bachchan. Then you call pathological Q wave. That is the definition you should know. And always a pathological Q wave is indicative of old MI, not acute, old MI. Huh? Generally, current may, it is the last change to appear after everything normalized, or generally old heart attack. Clear? Now let us talk about Q wave. What are the differential lines of Q wave? One is myocardial infarction. Even without infarction also Q wave can occur, pathological Q wave can occur if there is any hypertrophic obstructive cardiomyopathy. What is the hypertrophic obstructive cardiomyopathy? Oh, sorry, hypertrophic uh, 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 obstructive cardiomyopathy and also infiltrative diseases into the myocardium like amyloidosis, sarcoidosis, uh, uh, Low Grenz disease, so many infiltrative disorders are there. Glycogen storage disorders in all those things. Now let us see real, real ECGs for you to remember. 2, 3 AVF. Is me kya dikre aapko? ST segment elevation is there. Also, what you are finding? Uh, uh, prominent Q wave. Why do you call prominent? More than 25% of the height of the R wave. There's a T wave inversion to 3 AVF may along with 
pathological q waves that's how you recognize pathological q wave then this is what lead 1 and avl they are what left sided leads normally only or uh, you find or you don't uh, normally only but how do you say pathological so here there is a st segment elevation acute mi first of all later after the mi resolved old ecg mein v5 v6 mein kya aa gaya pathological q wave utna deep nahi rehta normal q wave this is a v1 to v4 v1 v2 v3 v4 isme kya hai st segment elevation acute mi later what happened t waves got inverted t waves got inverted and that s wave and q wave merged together this is called qs complex that q wave normally only s wave will be there no that the together merged it and led to formation of qs complex right ah qs complex now comes there is no r Com that q which is, you don't normally see q in the v1 v2 v3 s will be there but because of the mi what happened q appeared and that merged with uh, the s together they formed a single deep q wave which is abnormal clear acha now now the next interesting situation in which leads do you expect q wave normally only lead 1 avl v5 v6 the place where you are expecting normally only q wave to be there if that becomes it is not there also it is abnormal when do you get that situation now come back to the original uh, uh original re what is the reason for the q wave first of all in the lead 1 avl v5 v6 which are the left sided leads because sa node gave to av node av node has left and right and left one depolarized the interventricular septum on the left side which went to right side agar left bundle branch block ho gaya to what happened this septal activity is given by whom right one is giving the septal activity so the whole electrical activity is passing septal activity is passing from right to left then why will you get q wave in the left you won't get and there is no q wave which is normally expected because of the septal activity which is going normally from left to right instead the lbbb mein kya ho gaya it is going from right to left so the absence of the septal q waves in the v5 v6 is abnormal and typically that is an indicator of left bundle branch block isme kuch common sense isme kuch uh, impossible thing kuch hai kya cheap chitka subject is ecg 4 ghante enough to baptize you i am the bishop i am the pope murli bharadwaj right going to canonize diksha to saint diksha <laughs> right beta a ecg class ke baad ek ring aayega gyan ka ring aayega right tell murli bharadwaj sir ne ecg class ab bhi khatam kiya so now can the online students can understand very good shweta and everybody excellent doctor बेटा
second part huh? then i will be like, like any other uh, weekend coaching program guys free lunch post my ek hi lunch pre hota nahi to pre ovulation or post ovulation no pre and post i'm not a complete menstrual cycle like most other coaching programs on weekend khelte khelte padenge usme tension kya hai aaj nahi to kal gyani banenge so give me 10 15 minutes we will wind up right tomorrow you won't get permission online dekho okay see let us study stressless you enjoyed i will also uh, send you the powerpoint of this powerpoint of this and uh, sir in case tomorrow you are you are getting into the second part that will be the evening session every week second part rep aithe better antunnam kada adhe sir they go tomorrow evening ah okay no problem tomorrow evening second part but let us finish uh, the actual fun of uh, is it now all of you tell me kaushik is ecg easy or difficult is the ecg easy or difficult right ha sir we have a morning class tomorrow please stop uh, scheduling me <laughs> now let's go let's go to the next part of the game a dominant r wave in b1 is abnormal why where is b1 b1 is a right side right lead right enter electrical activity is going towards left side. left side then v1 may you don't expect a dominant r wave other dominant r wave is there in the lead v1 iska matlab kya hota hai you know what is q wave q wave is negative wave right is ka reciprocal kya hota hai what is reciprocal of q what is opposite of q reciprocal means what is reciprocal of 2 by 3 3 by ah please now what is the reciprocal of q wave r wave r wave so r wave is considered to be the reciprocal of q wave diksha will be thinking why not r wave is reciprocal of s wave correct huh? it's not it's only q wave now if you find r wave in lead v1 what is v1 anterior lead or posterior lead anterior lead what does it reflect it can also reflect a reciprocal change of q wave in the posterior lead posterior heart heart is antero posterior three dimensional structure no if posterior heart has an mi posterior heart has an mi right then that can reflect in the form of a yeah. instead of q wave reciprocal of q wave is r wave in the anterior lead clear that's the reason whenever r wave is there in the v1 look at it suspiciously because that is indicator of posterior wall mi then second important thing if there is any right ventricular hypertrophy so normally left ventricle being very what bodybuilder entire electrical activity is going towards that side but uh, right ventricle became bodybuilder right ventricular hypertrophy then uh, instead of r prominent in v6 where will it be prominent in the v1 if the right ventricle is hypertrophic and if there is any pulmonary embolism then suddenly who is receiving the strain pulmonary embolism increases the pressure in the pulmonary artery that will put a strain on right ventricle and that lead to development of a dominant r wave in v1 and normally only in children right side heart is more dominant than left that's the reason it is normal in right it's called persistence of infantile pattern persistence of infantile pattern then if there is any left to right shunt left to to right shunt 
ASD, BSD, PDA, they are all what? Left to right shunts. Good blood going and mixing with bad blood. So that is the reason they are synotic or asynotic? Synotic. Achha, Ganga ki teer ja ke bistleri water mein mille to synosis nahi hota. Bistleri ka water ja ke Ganga ke teer mein hoi to Ganga ke teer malin ho jayega. Right? So left to right is asynotic, right to left is synotic. So left to right shunt, asynotic heart disease like ASD, BSD, PDA, there is a regular venous return to the right heart along with this left to right shunt. Totally there is a more burden on right ventricle and that lead to R wave in V1. Any right bundle branch block? If there is any right bundle branch block, then left bundle electrical activity katam karke, entire thing need to come towards the right. Every whole focus is on right. That can also lead to abnormal R wave in the lead V1. Any posterior wall MI, then that is a reciprocal in V1. These are the things. So tomorrow NEED PG examiner will simply give one prominent R wave in ACG and silently bed ke kya interpretation bolega. Yeah, all these things you need to get. You don't need to butterfly. If you know that, it's enough. So this is a typical pediatric ECG. How is the V1 prominent R wave in V1, V2? Normally, you don't find. But here you found. Because he is a pediatric. Venisha, tomorrow all your babies in the ward will be having a Prominent R wave. Ha ha ha, Venisha, look at me. V1, they will be laughing at you. Then you will tell the tiny talk. Not ASV. That is also a cause. So, right ventricular hypertrophy with R wave in V1. How do you know there is a right ventricular hypertrophy? If the right ventricular hypertrophy is there, how will be the axis? Right axis or left axis deviation? Either case hey, right axis deviation, the lead one will have both huh? lead, one, sir. lead one will be down or uh, up? Down, sir. Right is down. Down. So lead one will be down. more than uh, up, it is more uh, down. down. And lead two, lead three are all up. So they are right towards each other. Sushan Zalida. Right. So that is the reason what you need to remember. This is, there is a right axis division. That is the reason this is what uh, right ventricular hypertrophy. To substantiate that, what do you have in V1? Prominent, Prominent? R, -wave. R wave. Clear? That is the reason always you need to look for the axis deviation. So right axis deviation means what are the possibilities? Already you know. It can be right bundle branch block. It can be right ventricular hypertrophy. It can be an infantile pattern. It can be right, uh, it can be a Huh. Right axis deviation. Okay. M fascicular block. Right. Huh? Left, left, posterior. left to posterior fascicular block. Anti cause you need to look for. Okay? So the whole story starts with axis deviation. The moment axis deviation is there, what are the possibilities? Then you need to look at the lead V1. If the lead V1 is showing prominence. That means it is right ventricular hypertrophy. As you keep playing with the ECGs, abba, in sleep also, like complete blood picture. Okay? There's no rocket science. If some fool said that it is very difficult, he don't know how to teach. Now, if there is a right bundle branch block, marrow, right? So, there is a pattern called yum pattern. What is yum pattern? How will you write yum? Like this, you write yum. So this is what? R wave. This is what? Negative. There is a negative wave. Then once more, there is another R wave. So this is called R, yes, R. R S R pattern, right? R S R pattern. 
so typically in the lead v1 what do you have you you look at this how is this initial r initial r this little positive deflection this negative deflection is yes then this prominent positive deflection is r this entire rsr is there in the lead v1 and what do you have here w w means initially q wave then r wave then s wave w pattern in the lead v6 rsr pattern m pattern in the v1 so first m pattern m pattern last me w pattern is seen in right bundle branch block maro let's look at it so what do you have here very prominently very prominently lead v1 uh, sorry v1 what do you have r wave along with that there is what st segment is depressed st segment depression is reciprocal of 2 by 3 is reciprocal of good is reciprocal of good is reciprocal of what is opposite of good bad depression is opposite of elevation so this depression is equivalent to reciprocal of I mean, I mean, becoming cruel teacher. Eh? Depression is uh, is reciprocal of elevation. R wave is reciprocal of Q wave. Anterior lead V one is uh, anterior V one. What is the reciprocal of that? Anterior wall is reciprocal to. posterior wall so posterior wall mi led to a st elevation and q wave which is reflecting in the anterior wall lead that is v1 as posterior q wave as r wave and elevation as depression so these are the reciprocal changes of the infarction in the posterior wall where is the confusion in this okay let us assume we met once more now i'll freshly propose love right at least abhi to accept karo one shot me sir ah. r wave is supposed to be normally small wave it's not prominent normally in the ah. so if you have a posterior wall mi so you have a prominent r wave by uh, because posterior wall mi hai to posterior wall should show a q wave yeah. that is reflects in the form of reciprocally as a significant prominent r wave in anterior wall that is v1 posterior wall mi should anterior wall may not if anterior wall mi had been there then v1 would have shown a pathological q wave right along with st segment elevation opposite to it because you don't have a lead to put to posterior wall so that's the reason you look those changes in anterior wall clear hence because it's a posterior and rather depression of st segment now you have a problem now i'll freshly propose love correctly accept don't put why me huh? why this happened Don't you have other friends? Huh? Don't ask any such dumb question. Straight give the answer. Posterior is reciprocal of Q wave is reciprocal of elevation is reciprocal of. So either kya hai? ST depression. It is the reciprocal of ST elevation. Yaha kya hai? B one positive R wave. it is a reciprocal of q wave and where are you seeing this r wave and st depression v1 which is a anterior or posterior lead 
whose reciprocal is that's the reason <laughs> good no no problem you know because of all you wonderful students i am still alive otherwise i have no mission in life to live <laughs> clear uh now what did you see here dominant r wave in avr first of all r what will be a wave in uh, avr will you find any positive wave if generally positive wave is there in avr whom to suspect curvaceous monica who is the new ecg technician where you did not see how she is putting leads you are only seeing her and she is only seeing you and then put leads wherever is possible <laughs> misplacement of leads is cause but if it if not only having r wave dominant r wave if it is there in avr what does it mean avr generally has all negative waves but dominant r wave is a typical feature of ventricular tachycardia whenever ventricular tachycardia is there no doctor v1 will avr will show dominant r wave dominant r wave so anywhere any r wave in avr should be looked suspiciously but not when patient is having bt if patient has bt are r wave hai re wrong placement re nahi bolna theek hai then what is meant by poor r wave progression v1 in r wave is very small but by the time it goes to v6 it's supposed to be prominent if it is not prominent that is not good so how is the lead uh, i mean uh, uh, the v wave v6 mein chota ho gaya in fact it is very prominent on v1 v1 v2 that's the reason this is a case of poor poor r wave progression and how is the axis here lead 1 is completely looking down and 2 is looking up so it is right axis deviation and v1 is very prominent in v1 r wave is very prominent in v1 and there is no progression by the time you came to v6 abnormal ecg understand now so what are all the causes of poor r wave progression first is any anteroceptral mi anteroceptral means uh, septum and uh, anterior wall means uh, your uh, left ventricle i mean you, the left ventricle is not producing enough amount of electrical activity right now to call see looking at this you can definitely say that by r wave is very uh, not very prominent but there should be some quantitative benchmark so what is that benchmark you look in the lead v3 by the time you come to lead v3 if the r wave has not grown beyond 3 mm in height that is a poor r wave progression poor r wave progression is a feature whenever there is any left ventricular hypertrophy because a hypertrophied ventricle also um typically cannot cause significant uh, uh, voltage prior anteroceptral mi then inaccurate lead placement kabhi right left left right ho gaya to bhi r wave instead of being prominent in v6 will be prominent in v1 and it can even be this is the whole problem of ecg many things can be normal variant right so you should also know what is the meaning of normal variant kab hota hai gauri hmm? is asking a good question sir is the complete heart block and morbid type 2 are both same thank you gauri for uh, what same complete heart block means pura talaq 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 good question gauri see what is morbid type 
लड़ाई हुआ दो दिन के लिए मायके गया फिर लड़ाई हुआ ज्यादा दिन मायके गया फिर लड़ाई हुआ तो बोला कि तो आए तो मैं पुलिस स्टेशन को कंप्लेन करूंगा दैट इज मोबिट टाइप पर वॉट इज मोबिट टाइप टू जिंदगी जी रहे जिंदगी जी रहे जिंदगी जी रहे वन डे सुड किया दैट इज टाइप टू वॉट इज कंप्लीट हार्ड ब्लॉक शादी आज हुआ कल तलाक दे दिया सो क्यू आर एस अपने अपने के साथ ये इनके साथ चल रहे सो दैट इज कॉल्ड कंप्लीट हार्ड ब्लॉक सो मोबिट टाइप टू एंड कंप्लीट हार्ड ब्लॉक आर नॉट सेम बट मोबिट टाइप टू एंड कंप्लीट हार्ड ब्लॉक रिक्वायर स्पेस में not mobit type but and first degree heart block is only pr prolongation now diksha gets a question pr prolongation is considered when the pr interval is more than dash millisecond silent only more than how many milliseconds you call pr prolongation oh, emergency ha huh? more than dash milliseconds you call मीनिंग why we want t wave can be uh, down because v1 is a right sided lead just like depolarization is going from right to left even repolarization also is going right to left only that's the reason t wave can be lot of patients t wave inverted in v1 dikhega aapko so don't worry about it the but what is the normal t wave amplitude if it is limb leads once more mitra has a confusion what are limb leads what are limb leads what only mitra what are limb leads 1 2 3 alien vr and v2 not v1 v2 get get now you understood no i too used to have confusion on the same so amplitude <laughs> amplitude less than 5 mm in limb leads and less than thank you suresh for sunday less than 15 mm in precordial leads is considered to be normal so what are the t wave abnormalities obviously hyper acute t wave inverted t wave biphasic t wave camel hump t wave flattened t wave one to cause is about each other remaining part is all chiller ecg kuch bhi nahi hai isme peak t wave see this is qrs this is t wave one more confusion like mithuna i used i to used to have various p wave which is q wave qrs which is because p r t all the three are positive you know which is which you should know by mistake one is absent no to p ko q samjhega sorry r samjhega ha to jara dekhna dekhna huh? so this is uh, this is uh, this is the t wave t wave t wave t wave is very prominent and symmetrically peaked what is meant by symmetrical asymmetrical uh, peaking of the t wave obviously t wave is a positive wave it has two limbs suppose asymmetrically means aisa peak ho sakta nahi to aisa peak ho sakta symmetrical bole to ekdam fourth ke jaise peak hota hai i say symmetrically peaked t wave which is tall and narrow is the feature of hyperkalemia then whenever you get heart attack there also there is a peaking but it is not narrow peaking it is a broad peaking asymmetrical peaking aisa aisa hota nahi to aisa hota so broad asymmetrical peaking is the hyperacute t wave which is seen in the early stages of st elevation mi even before st elevation 
even before q waves q waves is last to happen but even before st segment elevation normally we identify mi with st elevation even before st elevation hyper acute t waves occur in mi and even in fringe metal angina also which is a vasospastic coronary vasospasm lead to fringe metal angina there also you find uh, hyper acute t waves let us look at it yahan kya ho gaya doctor there is an st segment elevation this is the st understand so what you are finding is a prominent q wave then st became elevated and uh, what do you have here t wave became prominent but it is wide asymmetrical prominent asymmetrically asymmetrically prominent is a feature of stemi st segment elevation mr ha huh? it is no no it is anterior because of v2 v3 हाँ? V1, V2, V3 के वजह से एंटर पोस्टल लैटरल इनफीरियर बोलते हैं लीड्स के वजह से ओके गुड एटलीस्ट यू आस्क दैट सो नाउ क्विकली टेल मी व्हाट इज द सीक्वेंस ऑफ इवेंट्स इन एक्यूट एम आई फर्स्ट इज हाइपर एक्यूट टी वेव देन कम्स देन कम्स क्यू वेव्स ऑल राइट एंड इट इज एंटर बिकॉज इट इज वी वन बी टू वी थ्री टू थ्री एवी एफ है तो इन फेर वॉल एम आई and uh, lead one avl v5 v6 hai to later wall mi only later wall mi anterior wall mi inferior wall mi posterior wall mi there is no superior wall mi huh? luckily huh? <laughs> then comes very good 28 online students still we are going strong शुगर कितने एटी लेस नहीं खाते आप नहीं खाते अच्छा और की देन वे डू सी इन्वर्टेड टी वेव्स रिमेम्बर ए इन्वर्टेड टी वेव इज वेरी नॉर्मल फाइंडिंग इन चिल्ड्रन but vinisha like people they have t wave like the children even after they have grown big the t wave stop from becoming upright so if you take vinisha ccg no juvenile persistent juvenile some people will say no i am always young at heart oh because your ecg shows t wave inversion <laughs> then uh, myocardial ischemia infarction also t wave become ischemia means decrease blood flow infarction means death of the muscle so not only infarction even ischemia also like all your unstable angina and they're all only ischemia then bundle branch block t wave inverted ventricular hypertrophy it's called strain pattern when the heart is strained then what will you get t wave inverted so if t for example i am having left ventricular hypertrophy because of uncontrolled hypertension then if you go to v5 v6 there you will find prominent r wave and t wave is inverted that is called as strain pattern any pulmonary embolism strains right ventricle that lead to right sided lead showing t wave inversion any hypertrophic cardiomyopathy raised intracranial tension anything can cause inverted t waves in eugene brownwell's textbook of cardiology has 64 reasons right ha huh. so if you look at fully evolved mi what do you get q wave prominent q wave ha uh, then uh, what else you have uh here also v5 v5 
बी सिक्स है सब जगह पे क्या है प्रोमिनेंट क्यू वे प्रोमिनेंट क्यू वे इज देर इन ऑल द लेफ्ट साइड इट लीड्स इन दिस केस ऑलवेज वेन एवर टी वेव इनवर्जन इज देर गेट द एयरलियर ई सी जी इफ एट ऑल इट इज देर देन कंपेयर राइट सो न्यू टी वेव इनवर्शन एयरलियर अपरेट है अभी नेगेटिव हो गया तो देन एबनॉर्मल earlier also negative now also negative means don't worry that's the reason always ecg is a serial uh, not a movie it's a serial so pathological t wave when do you call it is usually sim pathological t wave inversion it is inverted but symmetrically inverted and deeper than 3 mm T wave is found. T wave inversions are found even in MI, but they look pathological. How do you say pathological when they are symmetrically inverted and more than 3 mm? Let us look at the pediatric uh, T waves. Normally, only pediatrics में क्या होता है T wave inverted रहता है, where in the right precordial leads. because of the dominance of the right ventricular force in the pediatric population so this is the normal t wave inversions in the right sided leads in the case of pillal pediatrics whereas v5 v6 t wave is still this is qrs this is t wave is upright only this is q wave upright only t wave बट इन द राइट साइडेड लीड्स क्या हो गया टी वेव को इनवर्टेड दट इज नॉर्मल थिंग देन टू थ्री एवीएफ फॉर वॉट इनफेयर वॉल सो वॉट यू सी वॉट आर यू सींग इन दिस इनफेयर वॉल सिमेट्रिकल एंड डीप मोर देन थ्री एम एम सिमेट्रिकल एंड डीप सिमेट्रिकल एंड डीप टू थ्री एवीएफ That's the reason it is an inferior wall, old MI. So acute MI, may what do you get? Hyperacute asymmetrical T waves, which are is uh, prominent. By the time it become old MI, क्या हो जाता है? Symmetrical inverted T wave हो गया. Clear? then this is what in the right precordial leads what do you have right precordial leads uh, that is uh, uh, in this there is a once more a t wave inversion but here the t wave inversion is uh, sorry t wave inversion but t wave inversion is because of rsr pattern in v1 v2 v3 rsr in v1 is equal to m pattern in v1 is marrow right bundle branch block so here there is a right bundle branch block and that is causing the t wave inversion so here what you are seeing is a right bundle branch block rsr pattern initial r then s this r could you appreciate this is r this is s this is r rsr pattern is found in the v1 v2 the right sided leads along with t wave inversion so marrow here you have a w pattern right so that is the rbbb similarly ventricular hypertrophy produces the t wave inversion so let us say v5 v6 how is the uh, r r very tall very tall r waves which are a feature of v5 v6 is what left sided left ventricle so left ventricular hypertrophy v5 v6 v5 v6 and avl very even in avl also very prominent r wave is there so this is what right ventricular hypertrophy and so left ventricular hypertrophy parallelly how is the t wave t wave is inverted t wave also is inverted 
so which is typically a feature of left ventricular hypertrophy so the right ventricular hypertrophy also produces the t wave inversion but where in the right precordial leads v1 v2 v3 and also inferior leads 2 3 avf so let us see 2 3 avf what do you get what are you getting here 2 3 avf main inverted t wave is there and v1 v2 also you are finding inverted t wave and another thing v1 may how is the r wave prominent which is another feature of to say that it is right ventricular right ventricular hypertrophy and how is the axis here one is looking down and three is looking up so right axis deviation so this right axis deviation prominent r wave in the lead v1 and presence of t wave inversions in the right sided precordial leads along with 2 3 avf marshal your evidence right ventricular hypertrophy then similarly acute pulmonary embolism ho gaya then also right side heart will get vazan girega so that lead to what pattern s1 q3 t3 that means lead 1 is showing after r wave s wave very prominent and lead 3 is showing before r wave q wave negative wave before r wave is q wave q3 and t wave is showing inversion in lead 3 t3 this is s1 s1 q3 t3 is a feature of acute pulmonary embolism this is a very favorite question of the examiner enough for t wave purti es bodam can the online students can punch what is there sir from kitchen supplies are coming right ha huh. anyway mithuna you think that uh, another one hour if we wait uh, we'll go into neuro hypoglycemic symptoms with liver generating glycogenolysis pura okay they will dissolve any nihilistic delusions are there jab bhook lagta na dimag kaam karega aur ganit ka adhyayan acha hoga stamina doctor stamina tomorrow you are all post that yet no you feel hungry your sugar is 70 and your chief will say kya dekh rahe re scrub the hands and come and assist me she just finished chicken biryani and she will come and uh, until the baby is born he will be crying you will be crying the baby sugar is 45 your sugar is 45 post that you see is all about stamina building in spite of hypoglycemia can you scrub hands and go and assist a or do a cesarean huh? okay 10 more minutes jai hind not for the masters sir it's just like no no there is nothing like uh, brain has a calvarium co <laughs> you mean to say your brain swollen swollen almost touching the uh, the inner surface of the this thing and uh, you got all uh, that what is it copper beaten appearance of hydrocephalus <laughs> uh, you mean to say your manito lagao yaar to thoda cerebral edema kam hoga all right good doctor i really enjoyed a wonderful afternoon with all of you remaining things there is no rocket science everything i am only showing the, uh, this is cat this is dog this is donkey that's all already main things are over right is right left is right and kili kili chikubukki ana right So once more 
thank you all to the online students who made my wonderful evening manish chandra and everybody please download score net pg app just to pay 2000 rupees one year you get subscription to 600 hours of video 40000 mcqs 100 full scale grand tests with daily discussion 1200 pages of notes 50000 high yield facts you have a artificial intelligence driven uh, search engine everything is made available just for a throw away price maybe the registration fee many coaching centers charge is our entire fee until you become the post graduate and me dr murli bharadwaj will be there with you until you get the seat thank you Oh, I thought it was like a funny thing that caused the... Thank you.